Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Thrifty Mommy. Happy Saturday. So we are here at Walmart today to do a Walmart's Best Deals video slash I bought a haul. So I got a pretty decent weekend warrior. I got $5 for 15 offers. I did complete three of those offers over at Publix on Thursday. So I have about 12 offers left, but I don't think I'm going to pick up 12 offers here today. We have a good list of deals, but I don't think I want to pick up everything that I have written down in the Google Doc. I want to pick up just like the freebies and the money makers and maybe pick and choose what I want. I have a ton of stuff at home, like I mentioned in my Publix video, and I really don't want to continue accumulating at home until we use up the stuff that we have. So um, still great deals in store. So I'm going to have that Google Doc link down below for you guys. Make sure you're printing it out and taking it with you in store. Now, I know we're having issues with Shopkick. Um, over the kicks and if items are being accepted or not, especially on the travel size items. I am going to try out a deal today with the Sensodyne toothpaste and the toothbrush. I'll let you guys know in the clip to see if it did work for me and I did get my kicks back. If not, I'll just return the item. I'm at the point where I'm not going to be stressing about sending tickets back or anything like that. I'll just go ahead and return the item and that is that. There's so many other great deals out there that I'm not going to be stressing about um, just grabbing a certain item. But I do want to do the Sensodyne because it's an item that I do use and it will be useful for me if I can pick it up. It's a really good deal. The other thing I wanted to mention, we still have that um, fine print of the unique offers on the bonuses. So that is why you have to pick and choose kind of what you want to go ahead and pick up. And if you do want to finish off your bonuses, because now if you do a repeat deal, it's not going to count towards your bonus. You have to pick up a certain item and then pick up a different item. You can't pick up the same thing over and over because it's not going to work towards your bonuses. So that's a bummer. But we work around these bonuses all the time and all these rebate apps and we make everything work. So I'm not worried about it. We just continue couponing and finding the best deals. Before we head into Walmart to grab our deals, I do want to mention an issue that happened in my last video. I just want to bring it up, talk about it, and then squash it and move on. So in my last video, there was like a dumb comment or a negative comment in my video, which was totally irrelevant to the video, but still it was like a dumb comment that didn't even need to be there. And you guys, I'm not going to be tolerating comments like that. I enjoy reading everyone's comments. I take my time and read every single comment that comes through every single video that I post. I might not read them at the moment because as soon as I upload my video, you guys, I get up from my computer and I attend to my kids. I have two little ones. I have a husband. I have to take care of a home. So I'm not sitting on my computer checking my comments, checking how many likes and shares and how many views I have on my video. I literally post this video as quickly as I can and then I go about my day. And then once I have a break, once I have a moment, I just sit down and read all of the comments. I comment, I hit a like button, I hit the heart button. I just really enjoy reading all of the comments that come through on my videos. But I don't appreciate when someone comments negatively when it has nothing to do with it. And if I do see these comments, I'm going to delete them. I'm not going to have them there for everyone to see because apparently you're writing this so that everyone can see it. Wait, the sun's coming out. So let me put this down. So um, you're writing this so that everyone can see it. And frankly, we don't care. So this person in particular, I, I went back to see the comment and it's no longer there. So I don't know if she deleted it, if YouTube deleted it, or if she just simply unsubscribed, which is perfect because if you want, I'm going to delete your comment. And if you unsubscribe to my channel, that is fine with me because behind you, there are 5, 10, 15, 100 more people that are going to subscribe to my channel and really enjoy my videos. So I did want to bring that up to you guys. It's not everyone. It's just like one rotten apple in the whole bunch. But there's always someone that wants to bring you down and I'm not going to let it happen. So again, thank you to everyone who is supportive of this channel and who continues to support the channel and write such beautiful messages 
on my videos so you guys that's what i wanted to bring up today i know it's a little bit of a story time but yeah i had to bring it up because you bring it up you move on and you let it go and we keep on going so you guys let's head into walmart and see what amazing deals we have for this week picking up is going to be on the kiss my keto gummy so they have the tropical rings which are a little bit more expensive i'm going to pick up the bears they're priced at a dollar 39 i'm going to submit to ibotta for 50 cents back that'll make my final cost for one of these just 89 cents next deal i'm going to be picking up is on sensodyne products so i wanted to test out a bundle over on shopkick to see if it will work for me it did work i already got my shopkick so i'm going to give you guys the breakdown so the first item you're going to be picking up is the sensodyne sensitive care toothbrushes this is the two count price at six dollars and 92 cents and then you're going to head over to the travel section and pick up one of the sensodyne pro enamel toothpaste they're priced at a dollar 68 Picking up both of these will total you $8.60. While you're in store, you're going to scan in the Shopkick app for the Sensodyne toothbrushes. You'll get 15 scan kicks in store. I'm not going to scan for any of the toothpaste. And then I'm going to submit for 1,050 bundle kicks, which is about $4.26 in total. And then I'm going to head over to Ibotta and get $2 back for the toothbrushes. That makes my final cost for both of these items just $2.34 or $1.17 each. I think that's a great deal for Sensodyne. And if you guys want to pick it up, it does work. Just do the same breakdown that I did and you'll get all of your kicks back. Next, I'm going to pick up a great deal on the Colgate Optic White Renewal. It is priced at $6.96 in my store. I'm going to pick up one and submit to the coupons.com app for $3 back. Then over to Ibotta for $3 as well. That'll make my final cost for one of these just $0.96. Cents. Next deal I wanted to mention was on the Dove Men Plus Care Lotion. So I want to thank Keep Calm Couponing for this deal. You're going to be looking for the smaller container. It's priced at $2.47. I'm going to pop up a picture so you guys know which one I'm talking about. Now you see those $2 peelies on the larger bottles. You can use one of those peelies. It doesn't have any indication you cannot use it. It just says on any Dove Men Plus Care Lotion. So that'll leave you to pay just $0.47 cents in store. And then you can head over to Shopkick and submit for 600 receipt kicks. Don't submit for the scan kicks just in case um, so Shopkick can approve your receipt. That is $2.40 back. That'll make your final cost for one of these completely free and a $1.53 moneymaker. Now, another deal you can pick up is on the Dove Body Love Lotion. It's priced at $6.48 in my store. Use one of the $2 peelies that's found on the bottle. That'll leave you to pay just $4.48. Then head over to Shopkick and submit for 575 kicks, which is $2.30 back. That'll make your final cost for one of these just $2.18. You guys, look what deal is back over on Shopkick. It's on the Curad Wraps. These are priced at a $1.97. You can pick up one Summit to Shopkick for 565 kicks, which is $2.26 back. That'll make your final cost for one of these completely free and a 29 cent moneymaker. Next deal I'm going to be picking up is this nice little freebie on the Baby Dove wipes over on Swagbucks. So I did post this deal over on Instagram and on the community tab a couple of days ago. So hopefully you guys took advantage of the deal already. But these are priced at $1.97. I'm going to pick up two. That'll total me $3.94. I'm going to head over to Swagbucks and submit for $4.50 back. When you pick up two, that'll make your final cost for two of these completely free and a 56 cent money maker now you can do up to two deals per month so i'm gonna max it out and pick up four of these for a nice money maker Next, we have a deal on the Febreze Unstoppables Touch Spray. So if you have a Publix nearby, this deal is even better at Publix this week. But if you don't, you can definitely pick it up here. It's not a bad deal at all. So these are priced at $4.94. Make sure you're scanning on the Ibotta app to make sure it does attach to the rebate. But you're going to pick up one of these. Submit to Ibotta for $3 back. That'll make your final cost for one of these just $1.94. 
Next, we have a deal on the Dawn or the Gain dish spray. So it's really your preference, whichever one you want to pick up. The Ibotta rebate will work for either one. So if Dawn Power Wash is your jam, then you can go ahead and pick up the refill bottles. They're $3.94. You're going to pick up two. That'll total you $7.88. You're going to submit to Ibotta for $3.99 back when you pick up two. And that'll make your final cost for two of those bottles just $3.89 or $1.95 each. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the Gain Power Blast. It's a little bit cheaper and I wanna go ahead and try out the new scent. So these are priced at $3.44. I'm gonna pick up two, that'll total me um, $6.88. And then I'm gonna submit over to Ibotta for $3.99 back when you pick up two. That'll make my final cost for two of these just $2.89 or a dollar 45 each next we have a free after rebate offer with aisle on the culture pop soda so i'm going to pick up one of these they're priced at a dollar 88 i'm going to submit for that free rebate with aisle and i'll have it linked down below in the google doc you guys just click on the link enter your phone number and then you'll receive a text with further instructions all you have to do is submit your receipt and you'll get a dollar 88 back via venmo or paypal and then you can submit over to ibotta for 50 cents back on one that'll make your final cost for one of these completely free and a 50 cent money maker a super easy rebate you can pick up to knock out your bonuses is on the fiji water so the cheapest one i can find is this one priced at two dollars and 48 cents you can pick up one submit to ibotta for 75 cents back that'll make your final cost for one of these just a dollar and 73 cents we also have a deal on the Splash Blast water. So these are the six count. They're priced at $2.98. You can pick up one and submit to Ibotta for $8 back. That'll make your final cost for one of these just $1.98. Another easy Ibotta rebate you can pick up is on the Splash Fizz water. So these are priced at $0.98. Cents. You can submit to Ibotta for $0.25 cents back. That'll make your final cost for one of these just $0.73. Cents. Next, we have a freebie offer over on Shopkick on the Dr. Pepper. So there's two separate rebates over on Shopkick. One for the regular Dr. Pepper and the other one is for the zero sugar or the diet. Now you can pick up both or you can pick up either one. It really depends what you want to do. But these are the 20 ounce bottles. They're priced at $2.28 in my store. When you pick up one, you can submit over to Shopkick for 760 kicks. Each rebate has 760 kicks, which is $3.04 back. That'll make your final cost for one just completely free and a 76 cent money maker. Now, if you decide to do both Shopkick offers, then they will be completely free and a dollar and 52 cent money maker. Another option is to pick up the two liter bottles. I think this is a better deal, more bang for your buck. These are priced at 248 in my store. Same scenario, you can pick up the regular and then on another rebate, you can pick up either the diet or the zero sugar. So it's really up to you if you wanna do both rebates over on Shopkick or just do one of them but if you pick up one at 248 you can submit over to shopkick for 760 kicks which is three dollars and four cents back making your final cost for one of these completely free any 56 cent money maker now if you do both shopkick offers then both bottles will be completely free and a dollar and 12 cent money maker Next, we have a great deal on the Sensible Portions Garden Veggie Straws. So these are the assorted bags. They're priced at $6.98. You're going to pick up two of these bags. That'll total you $13.96. Over on Swagbucks, we have a rebate for $7 back when you pick up two bags. And then over on Checkout 51, you can submit for $1.96 back on each bag. That'll make your final cost for two of these bags just $3.04 or $1.52 each. So literally you're getting like two bags for the price of one single bag. So I think this is an awesome deal. So this deal got even better on the Werther's Original Sugar-Free Caramels. These are $2.58. Now I posted this deal in my previous video, but now we have a checkout 51 rebate. So you're gonna pick up two of these. That'll total you $5.16. You're gonna head over to Swagbucks and submit for $3 back when you pick up two. Then over to checkout 51 for $8.62 back on each one. 
That'll make your final calls for two of these completely free and a dollar and eight cent money maker. Now read the fine print over on the swag bucks rebate because you can do up to four of these um, in like a week or a month. So this will be a great money maker on four bags. Final deal I'm going to be picking up and I'm going to end my video with this offer. It's on the Milton's cauliflower crust pizza. You guys, this pizza is delicious. I literally made this pizza for me and my son. He's four years years old and he almost ate the entire pie it is so good and I actually added some extra cheese to it I know it defies the purpose of it being a healthier pizza with me adding more cheese to it but it tastes so good with some extra cheese so these are $8.98 you're gonna pick up one and submit to Ibotta for a 50% rebate which is $4.50 back we usually get a freebie offer on these but they only give us 50% back That'll make your final cost for one of these just $4.48, which I still think is a pretty decent deal. And believe me, guys, this pizza is really good.